Oh, the music is on. I'm sorry. I'm just a little busy right now. But uh, I'm on the search uh, for a comet coming in. Comet coming in. You see the star on there, how it stretches out and goes all the way around? You see the way the comet left us? Take a look the way it came in and left us, okay? It left a message, okay? Not only to leave a message, it goes all the way around and back again, this comet. 20% free. Free gratuit. It means to scratch a trout. It means to scratch your ass. The green, the red, the yellow. Now where does beta fit in? Because I see no blue. So is this comet real? Because it actually says 10 come. Comet says here comes 10. Do you understand why here comes 10? Because 10 commandments is one man. When 10 come, one man comes. So when you sit at a minion in the shul or the synagogue, you must be 10 men. Your value must cover every single one of those commandments and understand you may want to be a religion and want to follow a law when you don't actually know uh, what the stipulations are in actually acting upon what that law is. How much outside that law you can go? Well, guess what? You can go outside a lot of laws, but the first 10, they're not ours. They're not ours. Somebody else gave us the life and they left us with 10. They gave us 10 fingers and 10 toes to remind us. They gave us holes all over the body to make one represent another one. The 10 basic laws, Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalit, Hey, Vav, Zion. Where's my book so I can read the rest because I don't know them off by heart yet. I don't know them off by heart. I don't know anything off by heart. What I do know is look at this sky. Okay, look at the color of these planets, okay? Try and figure out, is that the real sky? Do you understand? There's a space in between there where they show a split between the blue sky, okay, and the night sky. And we are facing the night sky. And there's an opening that every time we take out a telescope or whatever, we can see outside because they let us see outside. But everything else is inside the blue. Don't you notice Saturn is at the corner at the end? The Saturn ring. Do you know why the Saturn has a ring? Because that planet splits open. Okay, that planet splits open. I don't know exactly how it works. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not sure how. You know the way they used to take these squares and put one square in the other square and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and smaller and smaller and smaller and you put the squares in? It's sort of like that. They took all the planets, they recreated them and we're all sitting inside of each other. Somehow we're all swimming around like in a fishbowl. Listen to your music properly. You must, we must, he must, we all must, it's a must. It's not that I am telling anybody, <laughs> I'm smelling a musk around here. This is the way it is. This is what a must is all about. This is what a must means. This is a must. The only thing a must is, is a must do for the sake of all man and every single man. Hold out, there's something coming. I think I hear something. Let me see. Let me see my, my things. Oh yeah, I see. I see. Yes, yes, it's perfect. My vision is perfect. I see so much better now. I line it up and I see. There we go. Where are we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, iceberg, iceberg. What? Oh, you thought it was lettuce, eh? The captain thought it was lettuce. The guy called Iceberg and he was serving lettuce for supper that night. Pretty funny, eh? You know what I'm saying? How did that get lost? What did they eat? What was their last supper? What was their preparation of the last supper? Okay, how far is the kitchen from the captain? K kitchen, kit, kit, cat, easy in, easy out. Make a look alike of the captain and he drives her right into the iceberg and he knew it. Although the propellers, okay, are on a clutch system and the propellers can be just like a boat and they just turn them. And instead of going forward, they'll actually stop the boat because they'll bring a gush of water together. They'll bring that gush of water together and it'll automatically force them to, uh, to stop. Okay? And I know they were that educated and this is my entry into my house. And what I'm trying to think on the ship, right? I always like to give you a little view of the house and then over to, these are my two favorite. My two favorite. Can I just hold it? How can I get that study over there? Oh, not for sales. No, there's no sale on this. I'm not selling anything. Okay. Maybe if I have to, because people really drive towards wanting. Okay. 
then I'd have to do something else on YouTube because I'm in that monitoration thing and I don't want to disturb it, whatever it is, however it works, I don't care. I don't really put my mind into it. I don't care what collects. I, I like to hit how many people see me, not for the reason for the money. I don't really care about the money. Uh, the only reason I need the money is to uh, open that uh, website I want to open up uh, that's included um, with Google and YouTube and uh, Facebook and I'm not sure who else I want to get organized and this is a voting system and how we're going to continue the vote to create uh, a good out of what's not good to create a bad out of something that's good for so many but it's hurting everybody at the same time so we have to make judgment and we have to be able to get this resource without leaving our house we need to have the comfort of home we're always pushed to leave the house now that you're doing all this computing they talk so much this one's making five grand and this one's making five grand you know what I'm not interested all I want is the system to get out so all of America North America we can go on and have something a little peaceful while staying home. We don't have to leave our house. Why should we leave our house? We do everything online, but they make us go to the polls. Well, then how can you trust us online? We gave our name, we gave our address, we give our credit cards. You buy and you sell all the time, and they say you can't do it online. And then you take a piece of paper of a pencil that can make a mistake. You see, if the computer makes a mistake, it'll probably make more than one, or something's going on with you. So we pencil it all in and they pick and they choose and they poke and they rape and, and the whole shebang and everybody counts and there's so many different places to count by the time it gets to the front, who knows what was at the end. There's no longer a story. There's no longer truth. Hello, who's here? Yes. Oh, you're calling, you're in Costa Rica. But you don't think I know the game? The game, it surrounds just on the outside of Australia. Australia is not into it. It goes underneath the ground from China and then it goes from China and it goes... Uh, back towards let me see this on my map again uh, it goes from uh, China okay over to the United States and Canada and Canada is ass to ass with Russia and if you really look at the map I'm looking on on uh, Wikipedia I'm on Wikipedia right now and I, I like what they have, but there's, some, there's a couple of, couple of calculations missing. I don't know if you can see this. I'll hold it there. But it, I'm never really good at this. If you can't see it, it's, it's the map of the entire world. It's got numbers and stuff. And uh, we're feeding the face uh, of another uh, something that's not like us. And it is like us because uh, Albert Huxley, I did a little research on him. And it's really funny the way he died. And President Kennedy, I did a little research on him too. And some numbers were so perfect that I knew it wasn't true. Something doubled up twice, and it should have never doubled up twice. You can never be better than Trinity here. If you're better than Trinity, there's something that added that extra difference to turn you around Roswell, New Mexico. The Roswell stone, the stone that I redrew into the Mug and David, showing that it's two moons coming together and it melts into your hand. It melts right into your hand and you vibrate with it. And the only way you can ever use this is if, if you're secure. If you're not secure, okay, home base will be at risk that somebody else is able to use it off of you. So you must be secure unless your mind is thinking that it is secure. The stone won't work. It just won't work. It doesn't matter what you do, the stone works on purity. If you're that purity, once it gets into you, no one can stop you. You are Superman, you are Spider-Man, and you're every actor that ever came out in marvels of books. Because that's how it works in this system. And the only reason it's easy to say is because it's taking them billions of dollars to cause war when war costs... Have they ever really showed how much everything costs in war? What are they really going to war to do? They need to build bridges, so they build bridges, they go across bridges, they need to do that, they need to work the land. They go and they bomb to work the land. I don't know exactly how it works, uh, but it's definitely a very cool system. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to have a little of this juice, and uh, I've been concentrating now um, what I'm going to do with my vegetables, because they say half-cooked. Now, if you're half-cooked, you're already too much cooked. You shouldn't be in hot water at all. You should be out of the hot water. So if they say half-cooked, you better put it in and fully cook your vegetables. Let them be soft. If they say you're not getting the full uh, entity 
of the of the vegetable, then you know what? Maybe you shouldn't get the entity at all. Otherwise, it would have stayed in the vegetable. God made it to stay in the vegetable. So I started cooking mine very much to more like the al dente spaghetti style. Okay, and the al dente spaghetti style is another trick up their sleeves. It all has to do with tomatoes and toes. Bolt House Farms. So they're saying in the name that they're bolting down the house. They're telling you the truth. They're telling you an action that's not so great. When they tell you an action that's not so great, sometimes it's very good. Especially if it's a bolt, because a bolt is a lightning bolt. So things go along with the words that say good things. In all actuality, people are seeing the lightning bolt to be bad as well as good, because when they discovered electricity, it was good. But it's killed, and it's, and, and it's, and it's alarms and things that didn't work. The electricity we plug everything into. 115. Don't look at it 115. Why don't you look at it as saying 104? 115. When you inject your computer, okay, check, t take out your plug and look. It'll say 115. Okay, that's actually okay. 11, one spirit, one angel, one man, with the five past, the five angle, living in the five in the five spot, Jupiter. And um, now, what, what what was I saying? Um, wow. Wow, I'd have to, you know what, if you see what I said and I didn't say what you said, you see, you see what I said? I'm mixing myself up here. I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm very upset. And I have no more cigarettes. How upset can I be? The worst that can happen is I raise my voice. Because you know what, when I'm raising my voice, it's because everybody is pushing me away. Push and push and push. And then to let them know how I feel, I give them a little yell. I'll tell you how I feel. This is the way I feel, and I'm leaving because that's the way I feel. And so everybody's supposed to say, oh, my God, why is he thinking like that? What do you see what we're doing? What are we doing? Let's see. No, no one says that. They say, yo, the doctor's office is down the street. Oh, the doctor. What, does my mental have to do with a doctor? Bipolar is when you're in a disorder. It doesn't mean you are bipolar right now. We are bipolar. We are marked. We are marked people. We are very special. We have a mark. And less than, what, 5% of the people have this? So we're 5% of the rich in the world versus 5% of the people who have all the money. I'm richer than them because I have a speed that's injected inside of me that I can do that nobody else can do. But I can't go onto the stock market and figure out what's going to happen tomorrow. That's your area. My disease is my bipolar. And my addiction is the love for the element of what I can now do that I can never do before in my entire life. And very, very much hoping to always never forget to verify who I am, to make sure I don't fall over the other side and live in the dreamed world that everybody says the bipolar goes. You see, right now my only dream is I have a dream to save Africa, but I no longer say Africa meaning the people of Africa. I say just the people of, wherever they may be in truth that they need the help, then that is where I am going towards. That is my goal in this whole thing. That's why I want to get this book out, because by the time this is finished, this book, it'll actually just be a movie instead, and I'm just talking my way out of it. Right? I'm just talking my way out of it. Okay, I remember. It was the 115. Okay, cool, man. This is cool. Even today, you know what happened? I did a video, and I lost everything on YouTube. Just everything went away. When I got back a half an hour later, it uploaded. I was so ecstatic. Oh my God. I was in love. My video uploaded. I told you I had about a hundred that don't. It goes on. It goes off. It works. My, my speed is fast. Hold on. There's somebody on the phone. It's Yan. Hold on a second. Hello, Yan. How are you? Hi. I'm very, very good. I am fantastic. In fact, I'm probably not good at all if anybody would look at me. I said, if anybody would look at me, I'm not good at all. I mean, who would be watching me right now? I'm on the telephone. Nobody even sees. Everybody just judges me for, oh, you're different. You're good. You're good. You're always good. How come you're always good, they say to me? Because I don't let anything bother me. I let it build up inside, and I blow out the smoke after. What a joint, the cigarette, you know what I'm saying? Last night, I blew up at my whole family. I just blew up at them. Well, because I was leaving. 
I was leaving and they just kept bothering me. So on the way to the car, I just turned around and I said, this is what I think. I said exactly what I think. I says, now go in the house, all of you, and try and figure out what I said, what I said, whether I said was right and which way and why is it right? And if it's not right, why is it wrong? And try and look in between inside the mind of someone who sees different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made a nice little discovery tonight too, just by error. By error, I have a book here that's uh, that's uh, that's bl that's blue, and by mistake, there's a black hole in the book, and it shows the other page, and it shows something that shouldn't be there. Anyways, whatever. What are you doing? I don't need anything. I'm trying to. I have I have been very silent lately. I haven't even gone to work. Uh, how do you want me to go to work? I go to work, and Hermie says to me, "Well, you know, I don't think we need you." And the, 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 the argument at my supper last night, which is perfect that you called, you're a saint. Thank God. No wonder you have those problems. You're a saint. You're too good. You're so good it fucks you up. So, so last night, they're all telling me, why do you talk like this? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? They're all on top of me. Why, why, why? Oh, my God, it was terrible. So anyways, I can't go to work because Hermie says, well, we don't need you. But uh, between me and you, did it bother you that I came in at 10 o'clock in the morning and left at 3 or 2? Did it? Okay, now if it bothered anybody, it's not my problem really. It's they have a problem because they're judging somebody based on they're jealous. Why can he do it? The people are jealous. So it's, it's not the thing of, I'm not supposed to bother everybody. When you go work for a company, everyone's an individual. You're not supposed to gang up on somebody. Everybody, if they see something, let the company manager take care of it. Don't get the rest of the group involved. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't get the, you know, you want to talk to me, come. I come into work and I'll, I'll do anything. Then he sends me outside. It's raining and snowing outside. He knows when I was hired, he was the, Hermie was the one, okay? When I was hired there, well, hired, I can't even say hired. When I was, when I went there, he's the one who suggested I come in to fix things. So I said, this is the way I come in. The first thing that comes in is my hand in the air. Thank you very much for the job offer. But this is the, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But this is the stipulation. Hold on, this is the stipulation. I said, I have a pen in my hand. I have a pen in my hand, okay, and paper. Okay, and if I'm not disrupting the group, I must write. It's in my expression. That's the only way I can make it. The only way I tackle the bipolar, okay, is being able to ex constantly express myself. Why? Why should I silence it? Anyways. Yeah, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I need cigarettes if you wanted to come by for a puff. Yeah. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I, oh, well, that's different, okay. Okay, that's different. Okay, okay. Okay, can you pick me up a pack of cigarettes, too? <laughs> of course I have the money. Of course I have... Can I, okay, can I answer? Yes, I worry, but you know what? It's always better to be sure than to show up and the guy says, I don't have the money. They're always saying to us, why are you asking if you have the money? Because if you don't have the money, I'm not donating. I'm not coming to your house to donate and help you. If you have a problem with your money, take advantage of yourself and study what your problem is. Isn't that right? I used, to, I, I used to throw away my money left and right, $30 here, $10 there, all of a sudden, I started to think differently. I said, oh my God, this transition into love and what it means. How can you say what? You, what do you want to say? Yeah, yeah, I'm not donating. I'm not. Do I'm not donating to your cause if you're short money. Listen, if you show up at a guy's house a thousand times and he doesn't have money four times, okay, and he needs something, he's going to say I'm a little short. So you'll say, okay, I'll pass you the buck because the minute he gets the buck and you know he's working, he's going to pass the buck back. That's the way it works. That's the only way it works. It's you. It, it, can I tell you something? And the only reason that everything is upside down is because 
Uh, you know what happens to all these guys, all these demons and devils at the top, is they see the big picture, they see other people coming back into life in certain positions. But we're always reused and put into a position and eventually we're going to just shove our foot in our own mouth because we're going to be too smart and if you're too smart they only want you now and later they'll say screw you because you were too smart with me to begin with but she was helping him and he was helping her as he was smart when the next life they threw him in the lake they said you're a big fish go grab a hook <laughs> okay so when are you going to be here what cigarettes are you going to get me uh you know what I don't know why I'm hoping Canada's on the top of my list and if Canada's on the top of my list I'm gonna to have to go with red white and blue and viceroy because it's yeah viceroy 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 you know what viceroy red and white yes Okay, buzz my door a lot because it doesn't ring very well and I don't want to jump off the computer. No, 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 no. Visarwa. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, bye. Yeah, a, a visarwa means a vice of a king. Or is it advice of a king? So I started smoking these cigarettes and they're red and white like the Canadian flag. And I've seen the entire design and like I said, I'm still in this book all alone. No one has actually joined me yet. Yes, I did have, thank you very much, Mind Apart and uh, the cooking show. Uh, what I got from the cooking show, uh, Chuck, Chuck Wagon uh, something. I Sorry about that. I'm not really good with remembering things I, that I don't need to use right away. But he was wearing a vest and he had a badge on his vest. He had a badge. Josie on my side, it's Chuck Wagon something in a cowboy suit. And he had a badge on that leather thing. Just like the badges we're now getting on Facebook. Because time has changed to where the dictionary will now inept the new word. Okay? Something from the past will now come into the dictionary. Into Webster's Dictionary. Webster didn't you know how Webster was? He was very, very smart. So he made a dictionary to confuse everybody. Uh, they made it in English. They made it in Spanish. They didn't make it in this language or that language. They didn't need to. They never used those codes. They never used those people. But they always had to put it in. And the way they explained certain things would be Africa, okay, is not anything at all. So they explain it's a country. So they tell you it's a country. So we're all thinking Africa is a country when Africa is not a country at all. Frica is like French fries. It's a lot of different videos you have seen before. It's these people that work in a place that you would never really understand. When they say in China they're working down under the gun for nothing because if they don't do the work they're going to be in prison. They're already in prison. There's certain areas that they're watched. People are watched. That's why they're on their bikes and everything. They have to keep the traffic low. And the same thing goes for Hong Kong. And we know it's underneath the water based on... Where am I going again? Where's that mouse? Uh, ah, mouse. Yes. Is this picture moving? No, this picture doesn't move. Uh, this picture moves. Hold on a second. I'm getting back to you, you guys. Don't lose me. Don't lose me. Uh, this is the picture here. I lost the picture. Okay. Anyways, it's just that... Um, the U.S. and Canada and Russia sort of like our tail to tail and there's a dotted line that runs uh, circuit uh, around the, the polar Arctic Circle and there's a line right up at the top at the height of, uh, of almost 90 degrees maybe about 85 degrees or something and at 135 degrees all the way to 180 degrees and then all the way from 180 degrees to about 150 there's a curling line that surrounds and goes around all the way to the US and it leaves out Brazil and it leaves out um, Russia and I think over here is uh, is Europe it leaves out all of Europe I don't know why so it seems like it's really going on mostly in North America uh, that's what it looks like and uh, parts of China, parts of China, Madagascar, Russia, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a transporting system, it's, um, I don't know how to explain it, 
Uh, just believe you me, there's a lot more going on underneath the ground than you actually uh, really think. Okay, so anyways, we're going to leave it at that, and I appreciate the, uh, the watch. Uh, the watch, what watch? You didn't buy me a watch. Okay, Einstein, let me go into this. I'm not leaving this alone, okay? Einstein, okay? Einstein, was is das? Einstein, Einstein. Eh. Ah, she's 11. She's 11. Einstein, 11, 9, 11, all together. Einstein, all planned. He saw a shimmering light. He saw a light that was bright in the sky, that was flaring, and he assumed it's the Big Bang. We made it all so famous. But it wasn't the Big Bang that created where we are. It was the Big Bang that happened outside of the universe, and we're not there at all. So we saw a shimmering light, and the whole world jumped on it. Now everything they do is 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, 9-11. Just to get Einstein in there to rhyme with Lenin and everything else that's going on that we don't actually notice what's actually there. Because you know what? You may never notice that it's all in the name, right? It's all in the name. Einstein. He was a very bright man, very, very bright, but he was sick. They made him sick. That's why at the end he was sick, but he wasn't sick at all. He was just the brightest guy around. That's why when he's a bright guy, he illuminated the light, saying it's a shimmering light. It was a thought in his head. The shimmering light was a thought in his head. He said, oh my God, it was the Big Bang. A Big Bang is what happens in your mind when you finally notice what's wrong and what has to be done in this world for the entirety of all the world, one and one and one and all, and we all win to two. If we all win one, we all win two. We all get our angels. We'll be, instead of having seven billion people, we'll have 14 billion people on this planet. Because our angel gets to come to life. Because when we stick together in life, right, you no longer need that extra ball in your head when you got somebody human to human talking to you. So you're no longer under control. That There's no uh, distinction between any mental disorders. It'll only be what your thoughts are in your mind and how you control your mind. Right now our minds are controlled. We're being helped into this world to learn for our mind. The ball bearing that goes around all the time when we smoke the cigarettes to slow it down. We give it the candy to spin it up. So if you want to eat, think of what you're eating and what you want your mind to do, and then you'll be part of your mind, and he'll like you, and he'll think good about you, and you won't get all those anxiety attacks because you'll understand that it's always our fault and in our mind. Even though somebody distracts you to create, you have to suck it up to know the difference. But then why are you more right than anyone else? When you're all alone at home, you're right about everything. Is that not true? So everything I do and I write in my book, I'm going to be right about writing. Whatever I say is what I say, my hypothesis, just like Einstein and everybody else. It's just, I'm just one in a trillion people out here trying to make a go at it online. Now when I say try to make a go, I'm not trying to start up anything. Of course I'm trying to start up something, otherwise I wouldn't be here at all. I'm trying to enforce my book. Enforce means to bring out the truth of the laws of love and that's it. That's as far as my book goes, the truth of the love of laws. That's all. We must find the design truth. Whatever went on in the past, it doesn't matter. If you're ready to change and change your whole system and put it into a system where we have fair equality around the world, that's all we need. It's not going to take billions of dollars to start changing signs and elections and everything. It'll take uh, maybe $100,000 to set the system up online and then go. You test it out how it works. You test it out on restaurants. The restaurants will pay. There'll be maybe a choice of 10 restaurants, right? And obviously the only restaurants we're going to give you is restaurants like McDonald's. And the only reason we're going to mention it, we're going to tell everybody why we're choosing these restaurants. Because these are the restaurants that are installed into their minds. You have to give them what they already know. So when they choose from the five best restaurants in the world, they'll actually know this is what they thought all their life. Now they have to make a real choice. Because what you choose is what the diagram is going to come up to show you of how it works. So that 115 on the uh, computer that I was talking about, you can also say, take away the spirit, okay? If you take away the spirit, you don't need the 5 passage. So that 115 on your plug-in becomes 10-4. Hey, buddy, yeah, 10 4. We no longer need the built plug in. We need that 10 4 guy. Where is that 10 4 guy? What do you mean? Well, October, the octane month, the fourth corner delta, 10 4. Well, when was he born? He was born with one spirit, my friend, of the months of nine months of birth. 
in three parts of creation, alpha, beta, gamma, he becomes a delta R. He becomes man six. 1963, the same time they took out JFK, the same time they took out Aldous Huxley. Did they really take him out because he knew too much? Because he wasn't working on this at all. They said he was just a pauper. They talked about him as being a pauper and writing these books, and all of a sudden these books are coming out, but there's part of the story that's missing. Anyways, let me get to this. Did you know Rose DeWitt from the Titanic? I looked this up online. Am I allowed to say this? Her actual family that she comes from is Bucatur. Bucatur. So when you hear the song on the radio, listen to Shom. I'm just saying listen to Shom because that's where it is. I'm not trying to sell Shom. I'm just trying, trying to sh just get a position. So we have a position on things. There's a song about the Barkers, and then there's a song about Bob Barker, Neuter and Spade. Neuter and Spade. Neuter and Spade. Neuter her stick it in her and then spade her take it out make babies keep making babies 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 we see it on the queens we see they're making babies all the time in the underworld i don't know i told you i don't know how the system works a hundred percent but um i do know if i crack down and look at it i can devise something because everything could be devised right it's just a blueprint that's all it is doesn't mean anything more than unless you advance it into something else well actually not into anything else but just a bigger blueprint with more detail inside so it's all I have inside, everything I see. So Rose DeWitt was made up. They also said Jack Dawson, or uh, whatever his name was, uh, Jack uh, Dawson. Uh, they say he was made up, and they say it was a high-class society. Now, I didn't read on in it. If I read on in it, uh, let me see what it says. AdSense, let me see. How come everything, when I want it, it seems to disappear? Uh, yeah, it's all gone somehow. Oh, well, what I looked up, okay what I looked up is everybody on the boat and it seems like it was just a heist of some sort something went down it's like they gave all these seal I remember I'm talking against the seals against the Navy seals now I'm going to talk with the Navy seals okay and the reason I talk with the Navy seals is that beta turned man pink by the cancer representation which means okay the beta filtration filtrated and infiltrated herself with the red blood of God and she works in the system now the blue the navy blue right will change change her into a violent purple or a violent person and they used to call that a marijuana name violent purple so you have to look at about the violet and uh, what was I talking about and uh, and uh, yeah beta so she leaked in the blood and she became cancer and now you see because man has put his hand on it. She needed man's hand just like she needed God's hand to get started. She needs man's hand here. And we have to have the evil beast down here because that's what's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's a book that was written. Don't you know there's an evil beast at the end? We're not all going to be surprised. It's thousands of years we've been hearing the evil beast. You know, if they're coming out with a new car, ah, oh, the new Apple Pad, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they told us before it was coming out, and then it came out. It was true. So everything has to come out true in this story, no? The story is going to end up with truth because it's all in love. And if it's not in love, well, you'll know the truth because you won't be around anything but a hot stove. Pretty cool, eh? Hot stove, nice sunshine, beautiful women. You can stick your dick anywhere you want. Eventually, it'll fall off. You'll get sick and you'll die. It doesn't matter because you were getting paid when you left. You see, in some of the systems that they have, they entice you to say, we'll give you 5000 now up front. But you got to come work for us a week. And we write you the check right now. Okay, and you see all these people that are already there because they put them all in the same room, that they're there the, just the first week, so nobody knows 10 days later when the checks bounce. Okay, and they keep switching rooms, and all of a sudden, they've been eating, sleeping, getting sex from all these Indonesian girls, and they're, eating, and they're giving all these Indonesian girls uh, psychedelic stuff, and they're all lost. And then again, we can look at it the other way. It's the girls that are punishing the guys. You see, the movie I saw, okay, the girl punished the guy. Well, I think it's the opposite. I think it's the system punishing these girls so the guys can go up and get laid. Well, where's all the girls? The girls are all making babies. The guys are doing all the work. The girls are making the babies. So they're working hard. They're hardly getting paid. And everybody says it's a shmata business. It is. It's a shma Yisrael. Because that's how you create a man in the Shema of Israel, in the clothing. 
of a mother, Ishmael. Ishmael, Israel. Cotton, fabric, China. There's a system that we live in. Maybe God couldn't do anything more than what he did here. Because this isn't a mechanical system. He couldn't trust us on earth yet. How can he put us on earth? Earth is a paradise. Look how blue it is. It's a true blue. Navy SEAL, who can you trust? So did the Navy SEALs, the ones that went in the basement, who were they in the basement? I think they were just being transported to another side where they can go to work and everybody on top is actually who paid to be there. And the boats, how I didn't look up yet, but how many uh, lifeboats were there? And how many lifeboats, okay, were there on the Olympia? And how many lifeboats are on all other boats? And how many lifeboats did they put today? And how do they do it today? And what's the propellers look like from then to today? Who said what? I'd like to know how to say propeller. I'd like to repeat that Titanic movie in two or three other languages. And word for word, I'd be able to see word for word, sentence for sentence, to see what the, the, the differences and the similarities are. Because we know it's all a hoax, eh? It's all a hoax. Whatever's going on in this world, it's all a hoax. Even the religion. You know what happened in religion? Judas Icarus was the best one there. They stood divided. You see, Judas Icarus stood up for what he believed, and he told Jesus what was going on. He told Jesus, they're going to kill you. He told him the truth. He didn't say, I'm going to kill you. He said, they're going to kill you. Of course he was talking with the opposite side. He was trying to fix the problem. Now, if you take a look, okay, Judas, the old man, Mary Mangalin, and one other person are on one side of the Da Vinci Code, and on the other side, there's three men and three men. And that's the number of Christ, three and three. And the time says, uh, I think it says two o'clock, because the three and three men are sitting at one o'clock and three o'clock. Jesus has his head over to the side. Okay, now it makes an arrow. My head is over to the side, you don't see it. But when you bend the stick over, you don't see the other stick, right? We both bend the same way. It makes an arrow pointing to the six men to the right, instead of to the five and one on the left, in which included Mary. If I don't know if you can understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> the three windows in the back, I know what they are, but because I can't explain it so well, um, i destined not to go there. If you look at the checkerboard up at the roof, it's tic-tac-toe. It's all the ways of life. If you look at the sideboards, it shows all T's with car pets in the middle. Car pets. Let me see if I can write that down. You ever hear of a car pet? What's a car pet? Okay. A pet, mean, in French, means to fart, okay? A car is to drive, okay? It also means template, and template is what I saw yesterday, which was Porsche. Now, they had the good Porsche out when the two Porsches fell in love um, in a TV program that was played or a movie in the last couple of years. Porsche, I think they called her. And they were showing the good side, just like they were showing Herbie, number 53, and uh, Herbie was good, but there was somebody after him, so it was evil. Now he was gray, okay, with a stripe of blue, white, and red. And he had a good guy in him. Now, was he looking to win? What was, what was the thing with Herbie? Her, B, her business. It was her business, not yours. The creation and the passage was her business, not yours. Okay? The creation, God says, the creation is your business. I'm the passage. 5 3. God says, I'm the passage. You're going to make the creation inside the passage. 53 35. Now, when you make that passage creation, it becomes an 85. And that's the speed they now put Texas and Montana at the same speed. Obviously, passing over Highway 40. We have Highway 40 in Quebec. They have Highway 40 in France. They have the Otto Bon, Bonaventure, Bonaventure Hotels. So it all links. Everything links. You see, it got so big that we're, it just looks all the same right now. And um, it's not the same. It's been changing all the time. And um, the, the one who are getting the most money are getting the weakest. The poor, they're getting the strongest because eventually they're going to bust out and be upset. But the guy who's always getting somebody, at the end he gets screwed anyways, and it's too late for him. They knock him out. Knock him out, they knock him cold. Muhammad Ali here stings like a bee, don't you know? Anyways, we're going to get rid of it right now. So we have the carpet, we have the Porsche. Look online for, for just things about the Porsche. And you'll see there's one plaque where they have four corners and four dots, and it says 2001 to 2011 Special Edition. 
and then it says no return home on it and the Ten Commandments is there and the one of who we are with the slash of life it means it's over for you which means you're coming in to take over that's what's happening who makes Porsche I want to know who makes Porsche because that story I just told you who makes Porsche it might go actually to the complete opposite way or somewhere in between so we have to see the two reasons for why it would be good and then the reason why it would be bad and then we'll look in between and we'll judge from there uh, and it's not all based on my judgment um, but I'm going to build the system and then we're all going to work it evenly together that's the difference I build the system based on how you interact with me so my system will be built on my orders but I'm only going to learn everything from you when I learn how the people are I'll know what I have to put in to satisfy the people and I'll build it so it works for everybody and not just one not just one we are the people my friends and these are the times this Christmas my friends will be the last Christmas you will ever see the Christmas like this again next year's Christmas I don't know what it's going to be like but after this Christmas, just say, God, I love you, because whatever you do, it's only for the better of all of us. Amen.